I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed in us. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. Call it for purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and for whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may powerfully love you and only magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory and Jesus, glory be to God in the highest, and peace to his people on heart. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the only one. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your hearts, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sin, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith. Family resolve to keep God's commandment and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. Together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you, and against our neighbors in thoughts and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thoughts, we have not sufficiently worked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, Amen. pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Amen. confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, Amen. and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The collects the epistle, and the gospel. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. May we and all who have been admitted into the fellowship of faith in Christ reject those things which are contrary to our profession and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. The epistle is written in the fifth chapter of the Paul's epistle to the, Philipp to the Ephesians, beginning at the first verse. Ephesians chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. Be ye therefore followers of God 
as their children. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us. And has given himself for us as offering a sacrifice to God for smelling ah. But fornication and all uncleanness, all covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saint. Neither bitterness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this he know that no humongous, nor a clean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes in darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truthful. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Holy Gospel is written at the 19th chapter of the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. Matthew. We commence the reading from verse 16. Glory to Christ our Savior. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good Master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said unto him, Which Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things I have kept from my youth hope. What lack Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, 
It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. This is the gospel of Christ. first Sunday in the month of July. It is my prayer that this month will favor us in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the eyes of the Lord will watch over you in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord will lead you to the path of fulfillment in this month in the name of Jesus. And also I want to appreciate my Lord Bishop for giving me another grace to stand before the people of God this morning. My Lord, I pray the Lord will bless your episcopacy in the name of Jesus. Please bow down your head as we pray together. Almighty God, speak your word to our hearts and let it illuminate our lives. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Do not participate in the things those people do. For once you were full of darkness, but now you have light from the Lord. So live as people of light. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. The theme for meditation this morning is living as light in this world of darkness, living as light in this world of darkness. Pavilions in Ephesus and its environment were paganism and prostitution, which was widely embraced by all and sundry. The people of Ephesus were highly addicted to luxury and effeminacy. It was Paul's preaching at Ephesus that converted the Ephesian Christian away from paganism and prostitution, which was their former way of life. Paul's epistle to the Ephesians therefore eats on the wide range of moral and ethical behavior targeted towards ensuring that believers are living up to heavenly standards. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3 to 5, 
and listed some of the conduct and ways of life of the efficient Christian before their conversion, which are fornication, uncleanliness, conventiousness, filthiness, foolish utterances, jesting, prostitution, and idolatry. Paul warned not with passive word, but an active statement in verse 7 that the Ephesian Christian must not be partaker with them. The word partaker in this verse literally means partnership. Therefore, Paul's injection for believers was not to be in partnership with unbelievers. It was a prohibition against joining non-believers in sexual immoralities and all others. This is similar to Paul's warning to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 17, which says, Do not team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? Verse 15. What harmony can there be between Christ and devil? How can a believer be a partaker with an unbeliever? Verse 16. And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Verse 17. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourself from them, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will welcome you. Today, we live in a world where the system has greatly perverse, where righteousness has faded away. Immorality and corruption is currently the order of the day. Abnormality is now the norms of our time. It is actually the most difficult time for Christians to live because the system of the world is governed by the devil himself. It is unfortunate that the church which ought to prefer solution to the decadence in the society seems to be worse than the society itself. Sin sits at the center of the church, from the pulpit to the pew. Shameful news of adultery and fornication everywhere. Shepherds are no longer feeding the flock, but feeding on the flock. Godlessness in both the secular and religious settings. How then can an individual live as light in this world of darkness? No man can confidently in his own strength live godly in this ungodly world. But the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 9a. Therefore, it takes the Holy Spirit to help us stand out as light in this world of darkness. The following are the keys to live as light in this perverse generation. Number one, daily examine yourself if you are still in Christ. Many people are living on costly assumption, thinking that they have Jesus unknowingly. They are only being religious without having a genuine relationship with Christ. Being religious does not equal to being saved. Number two, be the light of the world. At the appearance of the light, the darkness disappears. Therefore, we are to shine our light to eliminate the darkness that has overshadowed our world today. Number three, be the salt of the world. As Christians, we are to influence our society positively. The world is tasteless and sour. We are the one to give it a tasteful touch by our action and lifestyle. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, capital, that our light should shine before all men, that they may see the good work and glorify our Father in heaven. It is time to reflect God's light to our world, both secular and religious. 
What fellowship does light ask with darkness? Light and darkness does not mix. When God created light in the beginning, he separated the light from the darkness. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but we are the light, the light of life. John chapter 8, verse 12. Paul retreated in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, that we are called out of darkness into marvelous light. Therefore, we must have nothing to do with fruitless work of darkness, but rather expose them. James chapter 4, verse 4 says, You idolaters, don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God? I say it again, if you want to be a friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. Light and darkness does not have anything in common. Come out of them and be separated from them, says the Lord, and touch nothing unclean. Separate, separate yourself and not isolating yourself. We are not to isolate ourselves or cut off ourselves from unbelievers and sinners. Remember, Jesus Christ ate with Zacchaeus, one of the people seen as act sinner. Not being in particular with them is therefore not to discriminate or condemn sinners, but to live a life of holiness to the Lord, which is characterized by the light. The Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 describes Christian as the light of the world. Verse 16 affirms that our light as Christians should shine forth, that the world may see our good work and glorify our heavenly Father. May I ask you this morning, brethren, have you also turned back from the life of darkness which you live in the past? Is fornication and adultery a normal way of life for you also? When last did you engage in doing good? Are you also a nominal Christian who does not see anything bad in immoralities, drunkenness, filthiness, and uncleanliness, and so on? Paul said in verse 5 of our text that such must not be had among us, the saints. Some people actually carry the light, but it is not enough to dispel the darkness. There is something called low current or half current in electricity. This is exactly how some are. Their light had gone dim and dull almost having no effect on the dark system of the world. You can really differentiate them from the people of the world. Rise up today and act out Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, which says, Let your light so shine before men, that all may see the good work and return glory to our heavenly Father. I pray the Lord will help us as we do so in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Help us, O oh Lord, to live as light in this world of darkness. This we ask in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. response to the word of God, shall we affirm our faith in the word of Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, 
eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For I say he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to joy the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, is worship and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please kneel and let us pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we promise through your Son Jesus Christ to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Henry, our primate. Olushina, our Archbishop, and Baba Tunde, our Bishop, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, bless and guide our rulers, especially Bola, our president, Dako, the governor of Ogun State, give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that people may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbors that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ according to your promises. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Brethren, can we talk to God this morning as we begin the month of July? Ask God to be your portion in this new month. Psalm 119 verse 57 says, The Lord is my portion. So also in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 24. The Bible says, The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore, will I hope in him. When the Lord is your portion, good things of life will be yours. Therefore, declare good things into your life. As you go in the month of July, pray good health, divine help, blessing, joy, peace, promotion, and ask the light of God to guide you in the month of July. Pray unto God, I will not walk in darkness in the month of July. I will not be rejected in the month of July. I will arise to the glory of God. You are my portion, according to Lamentation chapter 3 verse 24. You will be my hope in the month of July. And when I'm going to end the month of July, I will give praise 
and glory to the name of the Lord. With thanksgiving in our hearts, let's bring a prayer to our close. Lord, in your mercy, rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May we all rise. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Are you Lord God of all creation? Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. With the heart has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Together, yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's indeed right, it's our duty and joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, for He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us our people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks for bringing us safely to the end of the month of June. Thank you for putting our steps, our feet, on the steps of the month of July. Trusting you that you will lead us through this month. Even that your power will be our power. Your strength will be our strength. 
you open doors of opportunities unto us this new month that the joy of the Lord shall be our strength in the name of Jesus. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of our might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the earth. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please kneel as you continue in prayers. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as you follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. the same way after supper he took the cup he gave you thanks and gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins do this as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me amen Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself way once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with his bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, these are sacrifices of thanks and praise. Now we eat and drink this holy gift in the presence of divine majesty. Renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love. And unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him. By the power of the Holy Spirit. With all who stand before you on earth and in heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty. In songs of everlasting praise, blessings, and honor, and glory, and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is in all the communion of the body of Christ, and the cup which we bless is in all the communion of the blood of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. The prayer of Ombu says together, we do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies, I know what is so much to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Holy things to holy people, if any is holy, let him come. If any is not, let him repent. The Lord is here. Holy, one Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, bless forever.
soon and very soon we are going to see the king as our savior taught us so we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us unto temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever and second prayer together almighty god we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your son jesus christ through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice send us out the power of your spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory amen <laughs> Let us pray. Commit yourself to the Lord as we go into this new month. I declare to you that God is your source this month. He will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Talk to the Lord this month. Everything shall be possible unto you. The Bible says with God all things are possible. God is at work within you in the month of July. The Bible says, For it is God who works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. The pleasure of the Lord will come to pass in your life this month. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, He who has begun this good work in you, he will complete it until the day of Christ. This month, the Lord will perfect all he has started in your life. Hebrews 13 verse 21. The Bible says God will make complete every good works that he has started in your life. He will do what is well pleasing in his sight and the name of God in your life shall be glorified. And as we conclude these prayers, can we sing together? On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. Portion in the land of the living, the Lord. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. 
the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but unto us who have been saved it is the power of God No cross No cross No cross May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. May the Lord bless this month and this week for you in Jesus' name. and serve the Lord.